Hi there, my name's Simon Drew and welcome to the Practical Stoic Bites podcast. Now, in today's episode, you might hear some white noise in the background, and that's because outside it is absolutely pouring rain. I love it, it's so beautiful. But in a way, the rain outside and the noise that you will hear actually sets the scene perfectly for what I want to talk about in today's episode. Because I'm going to read you a quote from Epictetus where he basically lays out one of the most foundational ideas of Stoicism, one of the most core aspects of Stoicism that can allow us to live a good life. And so I'm going to read you this quote now. He says, Happiness and freedom begin with a clear understanding of one principle. Some things are within our control, and some things are not. It is only after you have faced up to this fundamental rule and learned to distinguish between what you can and can't control, that inner tranquility and outer effectiveness become possible. Now I have to pause there because those of you who have listened to me before on the Practical Stoic podcast will know that this is my favorite goal in Stoicism. It's the idea that we should be aiming at inner tranquility and outer effectiveness. You know, having the calm on the inside, uh, having that unshakable character on the inside, but then also having that ability to effectively move throughout the world and navigate the challenges and opportunities of life very effectively as a human being, right? And this is really what can be achieved if we live by this principle that Epictetus is setting out for us here. And we now call this the dichotomy of control which is to say that there are things outside of our control and there are some things that are within our control. So, you know, let's take an example, a classic example. You're sitting in traffic and you're late to work, right? It's in these moments that it's probably helpful for you to take a look at the dichotomy of control and do a bit of an analysis of your life right now. Yes, you're late to work. That's a problem. Uh, You know, also you're stuck in traffic. Maybe that's a problem. But These things that seem to be problems for us are completely outside of our sphere of influence. You know, you can't just all of a sudden ring the magical traffic gods and say, hey, can you move this along? Like, it's not going to happen. You're stuck in traffic, that's a fact, and it's outside of your control. You're late to work, that's a fact, it's outside of your control. All you can do is let go and forget about it. Because when you understand that this is outside of my control, then it's no longer a question of whether it should bother you or not. It's, it's a question of why you're so silly that you're still worrying about it, right? And it also can apply to the things that are within your control. Because what you could say there is, uh, look, maybe I can't control the fact that I'm stuck in traffic. Or, you know, maybe I can't control the fact that it's raining outside uh, and that's therefore feeding into the podcast. But what I can control is my inner reasoning and my ability to problem solve and to react to certain situations in a helpful and effective manner. And so instead of worrying about the fact that you're stuck in traffic, maybe you say, okay, tomorrow I'm going going to leave home maybe 10 to 15 minutes earlier so that I don't get stuck in traffic enough to make me late for work, right? So it's, it's about problem solving, coming back to your ability to reason and get through these situations effectively and not allowing the things that are outside of your control to completely control the way that you feel and the way that you live your life. And just quickly, I'd like to read one more part of the passage from Epictetus, where he says the following. Remember, too, that if you think that you have free reign over things that are naturally beyond your control, or if you attempt to adopt the affairs of others as your own, your pursuits will be thwarted and you will become frustrated, anxious, and a fault-finding person. Now, I love this part because essentially what he's saying is, listen, you need to let go. You need to let go of a lot of stuff because there is so much out there that is outside of your sphere of influence, outside of your control. And if you start playing God, if you think that you can control everything, if you can control the people in your life, the weather, the, you know, like the the processes of nature, if you think that you can control everything, then you are in for a massive wake up call because there are so many things that are completely outside of your control. And so, you know, what he's essentially saying here is, listen, wake up. If you want true personal power, true personal power, 
then what you have to do is understand that there are only a very few things that are in your control, right? And it's all within you. And the rest of it, you need to let go of. If you want to be an effective human being, that's what you've got to do. And so, you know, if you're experiencing, you know, anxiety, a lot of stress, uh, a lot of really like really harsh emotions uh, because of these things in your life that are outside of your control that you have no power over, you really need to do a, a kind of analysis of the dichotomy of control in your life and write down, you know, what are the things that I have influence over and what are the things that I don't have influence over? And really think about this. I encourage you to do this because when you do this, then a lot of the things that you worry about, you know, it, it almost becomes laughable. You kind of look at yourself and you think, wow, what have I been doing all this time? Why have I been stressing about these things that really are absolutely outside of my circle of influence? And so that's why I wanted to share this quote from Epictetus with you today, because it's such a powerful idea in Stoicism and one that uh, has really uh, has really left ripples throughout our society and throughout uh, modern psychology uh, and our understanding of what it takes to be an effective human being. So use the dichotomy of your control of control in your life today. I hope that you do and I hope that it's helpful and I'll talk to you next time. But until then, I hope that this episode has helped you on your rise to the good life. Ciao. Thank you so much for listening to this episode of the Practical Stoic Bites podcast. If you've enjoyed the show, then please subscribe and make sure you leave a positive review. Also, I'd love to invite you to join our Facebook group. It's called the Practical Stoic Mastermind. There you can get heaps of helpful tips and you can keep up to date with everything that's happening with the show. Finally, if you'd like some help redefining or moving closer to your ideal life, then head to simonjedrew.com forward slash coaching.